Hello. So good to meet you at our global motivational meeting. We are reading World Scriptures book. This God's words that inspire billions of people, families, communities, countries, and the whole world. Help me, help my family, and my organization will help you too. Just read these quotes and think about in your daily life. And God will give you tips for happiness and prosperity. Uh, as we're reading this holy book from the beginning, please find all the chapters at our message to Billion channel. And uh, let's see what God prepared for us today. Patriotism and public service. Citizenship, patriotism, public service. These words uh, define the arena of ethical conduct beyond the level of family and friends. Society functions so well when its citizens are active participants, volunteering for public duties and taking responsibility to solve problems in their neighborhoods and communities. Particularly in a democracy, which is a government of the people and by people, an attitude of public service is the defining characteristic of good citizens. In times of peril, love of a country calls for sacrifice. Patriots are proud to offer themselves their lives, if necessary, in the service of their country. The biblical Esther pleads for her people at the risk of her life to save them from destruction. The psalmist Poyankli expresses love of uh, the land in his lament by the waters of Babylon. We include the medieval Korean poem that uh, pledges absolute loyalty to the sovereign. It is familiar to impressionists uh, who have adopted it as a hymn of dedication to God's will. Here uh, we supplement the scripture with the memorable words by modern uh, patriots who set the example of sacrifice and dedication to their nations, welfare, and who led their people to victory in the face of uh, tyranny. Among the heroes in that uh, pantheon, Father Moon pays particular tribute to Yong Guan Sun, a young Korean girl whose uh, death at the hand of the Japanese policy inaugurated the Korean independence movement. Father Moon uh, teaches that uh, a nation has three aspects, people, land, and sovereignty. In a number of uh, scriptures passages, the requirement of submission to government authority even includes uh, counsel to patiently endure children for the sake of the order and public safety the regime maintained. However, Father Moon links loyalty and respect for the ruler with the prophetic duty to admonish and guide him to rule according to God's will. Father Moon teaches that the love of country is one stage and the leader of public love that begins with love of family and ends with the love of humanity, the universe and God, civil world citizenship. We, he viewed these uh, loves as an instrument, not in conflict, and tells parents to inculcate patriotism in the young. The duty of citizens to serve their country. First quote, there is a uh, not uh, one of us, but uh, has his appointed position, and uh, we are barely rather in ranks for service. Another quote, young people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called the repairer of broken walls, restored of streets with dwellings. And another quote, uh, and uh, so my fellow Americans, uh, ask uh, not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, uh, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. 
Mm. Let's read further quotes from the second kind Messiah, Father Sun and Moon. When you belong to a nation, you must know how to love all its citizens. What kind of person is a patriot? A patriot wants uh, his country only to flourish. He would uh, rather than his country not have any problems to be concerned about. But since he has uh, a loving mind towards uh, his country, when he sees a problem, he takes a uh, full responsibility in dealing with it. People who silently do public duties and uh, serve their community and nation became its owners. Whatever they may go, be ready to do the most painful, unpleasant work. When you see the cleanest place in your neighborhood think I should be cleaned it up. Take on the most difficult task for your nation. Take on the most difficult task for your church and take on the most difficult task for the world. If you don't uh, go this way willingly, you remain as a servant and cannot uh, reach the real of an adopted son. You have to be willing to digest all this stuff with joy. <laughs> Individuals should not take advantage of their nation. And uh, on the contrary, Individuals uh, should willingly let their nation take advantage of them, offering themselves for their nation's benefit. That is our duty as citizens. So we should encourage all the people of our nation to take this direction. We must eliminate the basis of evil, including greed, decadence, distrust, and false love from society at every level, family, community, nation, world, and universe through practicing sacrifice, service, honesty, and through love centering on God. So powerful quotes for today. If you'll have difficulties, please watch one more time this video. Share this video as we end this billion happy life subscribers marathon. Contact me for consultation, cooperation, and become a member of this Heavenly Parents Holy Community globally. Receive Heavenly Kindle citizenship right now. The contacts are below. And see you tomorrow with more powerful quotes. Uh, turn on suggestion playlists. Uh, and uh, choose the best one for you and listen to God's words stay blessed all the day bye bye yours nikolai Sepas.